Welcome to the Economic Week Ahead, brought to you by Business Day in partnership with the Movement Studio. My name is Eniola Latinji, and with me is Wasiwali. Okay, so Eniola, um, this week there are quite a number of um, interesting topics to be discussed. Yeah. So let's start off with Nigeria. Nigeria will be issuing its um, treasury bills this week. So what does it mean? Yes, yes, yes. So Nigeria will be issuing its treasury bills through the Central Bank of the central bank of nigeria and normally the auction happens on wednesday but due to the public holiday yeah. tuesday and wednesday sources close to business they have told us that it would likely happen on friday at the last auction the 364 day tenor had a whooping subscription of 2.4 trillion That's and important. yes it shows that foreign investors are very interested in our securities and um on thursday also there is a maturity on um, a treasury bill from last year that the government is going to pay so yeah investors should be looking at to friday to auction at the nigerian treasury bills interesting so also um the u.s bureau of statistics will be um you know you revealing its inflation figure this week so what does it mean to um, you know what does what are we expected to look out for yes um it's quite an interesting week i must say because um the u.s inflation figures which is also the consumer price index is a measure of the price in the price change of goods and services at last last month february U.S. inflation figure printed at 0.4 percent for the month and 3.2 percent for the year. That 3.2 percent was higher than 3.1 percent in January. That the U.S. figure was in January, and that is why the Federal Reserve held its rate at 5.25 percent to 5.5 percent. Um, so Forbes says that predicts that if the inflation rate comes out at 0.3 percent or less. It, the Fed is likely to still hold rates at what it currently is. But if it comes out at 0.4% or higher, then it might be looking to either hold the rate or but more, more likely increase its um, interest rates so as to continue fighting inflation. Yes. Like I said earlier, like the Treasury bills, um, most of our most of the investors in the Treasury bills are foreign portfolio investors now if the um, if america's inflation rate is higher that means the fed would likely um if it's higher the fed will likely increase its um its lending rates its benchmark interest rates and when it increases its interest rates it means that um their securities are more more attractive to them and they won't be looking at emerging market securities like ours, like our treasury bills. But if the inflation rates reduces, then they will likely reduce um, their inflation, their interest rates much later during the year. And once they in- reduce their inflation rates later during the year, they'll be interested in our securities, like our treasury bills, our bonds, and all of that. So let's let's hope, <laughs> let's actually hope that let's the hope figures that. reduce. Yeah. yeah. So um, Wasu, this is a very interesting week for oil reports. Yeah. The OPEC will be releasing the monthly figures, the monthly oil reports. What do you think that March data is going to print at? Well, um, I, I think the oil production report will see, um, of course, according to many analysts, they, they, they feel that the uh, the month, this month's report will be higher to jump up on the back of um, uh, a lower reduction in oil theft. Mm-hmm. And so, um, of course, the the um, LMPC CEO Meleke Yari has also said that about six thousand four hundred and nine illegal refineries have been deactivated. Mm-hmm. So all of these are, you know, an, in an effort to ensure that all theft cases are reduced, which of course will see the oil production improve uh, marginally. Oh, that would be fantastic news. Also, on that same day, on um, Thursday. The Nigeria Bureau of Statistics will also be releasing the full year reports, oil production report for 2023. What do we should we expect from that day, that report? Well, um, we should expect a breakdown of the the, the oil production throughout the year. Mm. For last quarter in 2023, Nigeria produced um, about 1.5 million million yeah, per barrel. Um, Nigeria produced 1.5 million barrel per day. Mm. Right, so. I would expect that um, there's a further breakdown of how 
this uh, unfolds. Oh, that's fantastic. I Everyone should look out for yeah. that data. On Thursday, also, the US will be releasing, would be auctioning its 30 year bond. At the last auction, the yields on the auction were about 4 point, reduced from 4.36% to 4.33%. So we expect that this Thursday, the yields on this auction should remain about at the same levels, very close to 4.33%. And that brings me to the Naira. Yeah. The river. Uh, yeah, everyone is happy that the Naira is currently yeah. is currently at a thousand two hundred. Yeah, a thousand two hundred fifty one Naira. And 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 coincidentally, um, the both at the official window and the parallel market, the Naira is almost uh, at the same par. Wow. Same so the gap between the parallel market and the official market yeah. is very close. And this is wonderful. This has been driven by Cardoso's reforms. Cardoso did a 600 basis point hike on the benchmark interest rate in a month. Yeah, in so two months, actually. In two months, yes. yeah. And that's he went from the benchmark interest rate went from 18.75% to 24.75%. So a lot of people are expecting the fiscal side to do this. What what's what's your take on that? Yeah, I think um, um to support what the CBN is doing, you know, the, the fiscal uh, side is quite important. The government needs to uh, step up its game in ensuring that there, there is more capital inflows in the country through or possibly selling its uh, assets, yeah. just like what happened in Egypt. Yes, yes, uh, yes. So, that uh, happened in Egypt. Egypt sold a land to, um, to the UAE, to the UAE yeah, and so got got about twenty four billion dollars. Wow. Inflow. We need we need twenty. Yeah. We need that amount. To so, uh, also, also, uh, the 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 government needs to um, improve its infrastructures, healthcare, the school, so that people going abroad spending dollars would, you know, have to stay in the country. So all of these are what I think the government needs to do on the fiscal side to on maintain the, the winning streak of the Nile. Yes. And we also expect inflows from the NMPC. Yeah, and exactly. really we hope I really hope that this week we see the Naira at a hundred a thousand one hundred that's about it on the show today you've been watching economic week ahead brought to you by business day in partnership with the movement studio my name remains in your lao latinji and we'll see you, Ali. We, we hope to see you same time next week mm-hmm.